watching Heron TV. I'm Ashley. And I'm Kate. Hey, Ashley. What? The Backwards It. What? It's Backwards Day. Oh, that would make sense. I was getting confused by the intro. Well, anyways, it looks like we've reached an exciting and busy episode, so let's get right to it. This quote of the week is... <laughs> oh, let's go to the quote of the week for some inspiration. I'll end it. <laughs> Muhammad Ali is a black American professional boxer and activist. He is ranked as one of the best heavyweight boxers of all time. He once said, if my mind can conceive it, if my heart can believe it, then I can achieve it. And that was your quote of the week. Wow, I'm inspired. But you know what's better than being inspired? Jokes. Well, I don't know about that, but let's go to, into the joke of the day anyway. Oh. Yo. Man, I don't really know why they make us read so much in language arts. That reminds me of a joke. Do you want to hear it? Sure. Why don't seagulls live on the bay? Why not? If they did it, they'd be bagels. That's that's pretty funny. And that, and that was, was you are a joke of the day. Of the, of the day. <laughs> you and That was so funny. We don't have time to go over jokes in this busy episode, so let's go right into our staff spotlight life featured Miss Guys. Hi Herons and welcome to this and welcome to today's edition of Staff Spotlight. Right now we are with none other than Mrs. Geist. Hi everybody, thanks for having me. Okay, so you're gonna be answering questions. That's Got it. it. Okay. What was your favorite teacher from when you were a kid? Hmm, my favorite teacher was probably my government teacher in high school, Mr. Merritt. What did you like about him? Um, he was just always there to listen to everybody. He was great. Awesome. What do you like about HVMS so far? Well, it's my first year teaching here, so everyone has been super welcoming. Um, I love all of my students and the other teachers here. Everyone's been super kind. Awesome. Yeah. Do you have a favorite class period? Probably first period. I'm a morning person. Do you have any, is there anything like about the kids that are cool? Yeah, all my kids are awesome. Awesome. <laughs> For character day, you dressed up as Wednesday Adams. Do you like the movie or the TV show better? Oh, they're both super good, but the TV show is my favorite. Awesome. What's your favorite book? Oh, so many. I'm a language arts teacher, so I love reading. Um, my favorite book to read with kids, though, is probably Holes. Is there anything about the book that you like so much? Um, it's just super engaging, really good page turner, awesome read aloud. Cool. Uh, do you have a favorite sports team? Um, well, I'm from Pennsylvania, so I really like Penn State football and the Steelers. Cool. What's your favorite vacation spot? I like going to the coast and maybe Pacific City or Newport. Do you like swimming in the ocean? Not in Oregon. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can't really do that in Oregon. No. Uh, what's your favorite Heron TV segment? Oh, definitely joke of the day, hands down, best part. The jokes aren't that funny, but whatever. Uh, what's your favorite TV show? Um, the Office or Gilmore Girls. What's your favorite song? Um, my favorite song is probably Party in the USA by Miley Cyrus. Okay. Um, <laughs> thank you for being on this week's Staff Spotlight. Have a great day, Herons. Thanks for having me. Wow, I know you Miss Geist did all that stuff. Neither did I, man. I can't believe it's already end of the semester. Yeah, I know. You know what I want to do after this long semester? What? Go on vacation. Hey, speaking of vacation, let's go ask the Herons this week's question. If you could go anywhere in the world, where would you go? 
If you could go anywhere in the world, where would you want to go? Russia. If you got to go anywhere around the world, where would you go? Mm, Sydney. If you got to go anywhere around the world, where would you go? Uh, Tokyo. Africa. Like the UK or Disney World. If you could go anywhere in the world, where would you want to go? France. All right, Mr. Oliver, if All you got right. to go anywhere around the world, where would you go? Anywhere around the world. Ooh, I think I'd like to go to Australia. Mm -hmm. See me some kangaroos. Yep. If you could go anywhere in the world, where would you go? Uh, Japan, because I've heard they have cool stuff. Uh, Germany, because my dad's from there. Cool. If you got to go anywhere around the world, where would you go? Uh, probably Hawaii. If you could go anywhere in the world, where would you go? Tokyo. If you got to go anywhere around the world, where would you go? Um, Korea. All right, Miss Sergeant, if you got to go anywhere around the world, where would you go? I would try to do like a food tour around the world and try play stuff from like all different places, probably all around Asia. Be really interesting or uh, just everywhere, South America. Yeah. All right, thank you. If you could go anywhere in the world, where would you go? Tokyo, Japan. Mexico. If you could go anywhere in the world, where would you go? The Philippines. It's always nice to hear the Heron's opinions on questions we ask. Yes, it is. Race car! Well, that was random. Hey, speaking of the random, let's go to the random fact of the episode. With me. This week's Rain and Fact of the episode is about Backwards Day. Backwards Day was created by two women, Sarah Nicole Miller and Megan Emily Scott, who were farmers. They created it as a fun idea to switch up their usual routines and have some fun. And that wasn't just random, that was your Rain and Fact of the episode. Well, that was random. Now let's go to this week's Word of the Week, brought to you by Sean Lynn. Hey, hey, this is Sean, and this is the Word of the Week. The word of the week is palindrome. Palindrome means a word or a phrase that reads the same backwards as it does forwards. Some examples of palindromes are taco cat, race car, bar, or rob, kayak, and many more. And that was your word of the week. Have a great day, Aaron. Well, that was an interesting word. Now let's go to the seven day forecast. Sounds great. Uh, hey, Jack. Hey, Jack. How's it going? Not well. Pretty well. Uh... Wow, it looks like it's about to rain outside. Yeah. Let's check the seven-day seven forecast. forecast. I can't wait for the spring weather. Same. Hey, Ashley? Yeah? Guess what it's time for. What? 60 second showdown! Wow, I didn't think it'd be so hard to give the wrong answers. Yeah, I know, right? Now, la now last, but definitely not least, let's go on to Heron Collins. Remember, Herons, if you win a Heron call out this week, make sure to go down to the office and claim your prize. Hi, everyone. Welcome to today's 60 Second Shout Out. Our contestants are Jack and Cruz. Welcome back to 
Astroco TV. We're so sad because this will be the last episode of the semester. We don't know who's going to entertain you as funny as us. Like, literally, we're so funny. We're so funny. <laughs> We just want to recap some of the things that have happened this semester. Enjoy! Hey! Goodbye! We kick off our very first episode with uh, talking about executive council members, and this is some deleted footage of me coming out of the trash can. I wonder why I never got in. Then we had our first assembly talking about our canned food drive, which we got over 2,500 cans for. And then we had our second assembly, which is our Pennies for Patients fundraiser. And both of those assemblies were very chaotic, but very fun at the same time. Then we had our dance, which was the biggest event that happened at HVMS since three years ago. We raised a lot of money for our day of service, and a lot of you guys came. We were happy to see all of you have fun, and it was fun here at Student Council to watch everyone get together at a school event. Now we can't forget all the stupid and dumb stuff we did behind the scenes, like paint Sydney's arm, which was very fun, and we did a Lego ASMR. You just died. We flashbanged each other a bit too much so we couldn't really see light anymore, but that's fine. Don't forget fancy Kaz and Sydney. And then recently we had our day of service, which was a huge success. Thank you for everyone for helping us out. You've helped a lot of communities here in Clackamas, and it was a chance for you to realize what it is, or what it's like to help our communities, so thank you, and yeah, what a great success. And that about wraps it up. What's up guys? We're at the Art Film Festival. Have a great day, Herons. Have Woo! a great day, Herons. Get on our buses! It was a great day. Let's have another one tomorrow. <laughs>